fight Time to see what life takes me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie Aw, come on, man So if I don't know how to wait Alright, so you I do so, so, so that's the first one Right, you don't know how much fire away. We don't want Weigh me the weight of the fire or measure me the blast of the wind. Can you measure the blast of the wind? Absolutely. Alright, how much is the blast of the wind? How much does it weigh? We are nature. No, I'm asking how much does the blast of wind weigh? I mean, it's not a weight, but we are nature. Hold on. Yeah, read that again. I'm gonna read it again. Measure me the blast of the wind. You said you're God. I need you to measure me the blast of the wind. Right. Oh, there, Mosan. We don't have to measure it because we can't control wind. So how much does it weigh? We can control it. I mean, it's not a weight, but we can control it. Hold on, but it just said measure the weight. But it doesn't tell you how much it weighs. Because you don't know how to just say, just say you don't know. Supposed to know. I'm trying to ask you that. We don't know. That's the point. Man doesn't know these things. Yeah, right. You just admitted that you don't know it. The woman right. is God. Not Read this. Give me 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 7. We created y'all. Y'all can't. Measure me right. the blast of the wind. Or call me again the day that is past. Can you call back the day that was past yesterday? Can you make yesterday come back to pass? No, because yesterday was yesterday. <sighs> If yesterday was yesterday, then according to the Bible and common sense, you wouldn't be God. Because God can do those things. If you can't do that, then you would be man. Okay, so this says that God Now give me 2 Corinthians 11. Or 1 Corinthians 11. Okay, so it says God is a man, right? So if God is a man, can, can y'all do those things? Do y'all know? No, because we're man. We're man. That's the point. Carnal men cannot do these things. Carnal women cannot do these things. Now you said you're God, you said the woman is God, right? So you think the so-called black woman is God? Absolutely. Now, give me, uh, you read it too? You think, somebody give me Genesis chapter two, right? And verse number, uh, the second to last verse, read this. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse eight. Verse 7, for a man indeed ought not to cover his head for as much as he is the image and glory of God. What is the man? The image and glory of God. Who is the woman? The image and glory of God. So why does the Bible say that the man? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't, I didn't finish my question. Why did it say that the man is the image and the glory of God? Why isn't it the woman? Because we are God. Hold on, but it said the man. Read, all right, read on. Read on. Read. So Verse eight. For the man, for the man right. is not of the woman. Read that again. For the man is not of the woman. No, man came from what? For the man is not of the woman. So is the man of the woman? Yes or no? Yes, y'all can't. Read that again. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. But the what? But the woman of the man. Why does the Bible say that the woman comes from the man? I'm pretty sure you heard of Adam and Eve, right? You heard of Adam and Eve? Yeah, I heard of Adam. What you know about Adam and Eve? A fake story. It's a lie. Read this. Read Genesis two. Read. Story. It's the book of Genesis chapter two. Sister, you're not the most high. We just, we just, we just keep it playing yeah. upon tables. We asked the questions. You couldn't answer it. You wouldn't be the most high. Right. You you came from a man, sister. Right. Sister, you came from the a man. man. Not you came God. from a man's loins. All right, how does sex work and, pre and, and reprocreation work? Real quick question, how does that work? I mean, it takes a man and a woman, right? But All right, so what happens? Come out of us. And we have the In order for us to get inside of you, where do you come from? Where do we come from? In order for a baby to get inside of the womb, where was it originated at? From, from the man. All right then, Whoa. from the man. Hey. So you came from the man. Hey. So you came from the man, sister. Hey. So you got a couple days. She came from the man. Read this. Genesis. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 2, and verse 23. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Read on. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Because she was what? Because she was taken out of man. Man was taken out the woman. Because 
because she was taken out of man. Because she was taken out of man. And she probably had some uh, bugged out simp boyfriend that just worshipped her on the left hand side. Which why she now? Which now? Is this why she think she God now? Right? We we, we asked the questions according to Second Edges the fourth chapter. He answered it. She couldn't answer and start winging it. Well, hold on, you can't really wait fire. Well, hold on, you can't you can't really wait when. But according to the Bible, fire and weight have a uh, fire, right? And wind has weight. But the point is that carnal man doesn't know it. We don't know these things. That's something only the Most High knows. Only. And because she doesn't know, then that will prove that obviously you want to be the Most High. In the classic, chapter uh, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 11. Right? In 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. That's why women shouldn't have, you know, be teaching. Right. Next thing you know, the whole world just worshiping the so-called black woman. Going to hell off. Oh, read this. This oh, first Timothy. First Timothy. Yeah. Uh, first Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Bring it out. Let the woman learn in silence. If the woman would just learn in silence. And that really start from the parents. And it, it really did this world created her like that. Esau uplifts the so-called black woman over the so-called black man. Right. Which is why everything now is is it's literally all flipped backwards. Now the woman, she's a so-called breadwinner. And everybody want to cater to a woman. They want to find a good so-called black woman. When originally, the man was the prize. Hey, brother. You see something son, can you? Okay. Well, what we, well, what we doing is, is we're teaching that the so-called black man, Hispanic and Native American man, according to the Bible and history, will be God's chosen people. The Israelites. You ever heard about the Israelites? The black Jews? What you know about it? No, 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 no. I gotta work, bro. I'm just... Alright, well, we gotta fly for you, brother. Before you pull up. You'll be an Israelite. God's chosen people. Alright, you gotta repent and keep these commandments. So look into that info. You too, sister. You too, sister. You gotta look into this info. You see yourself on the sun? If you see yourself on this sign, then according to the Bible, you will be a princess. If you don't see it, you wouldn't be a princess. But if you see yourself on this sign, then you may be a princess according to the Bible. You see yourself? All right. You heard me, sister? So we're teaching that the so-called black and Hispanic man, their history, that the school system has never taught you. Let me ask you this. Before slavery, what did your people call themselves? What country? Or uh, yeah, what country can we go back to? What color was our flag? What foods and clothes did we eat and wear? These are the you said what? Well, when you go back to history and the Bible, you will find out that you will be God's chosen people, an Israelite. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. So when we read the Bible, God's chosen people got put into slavery. Because they broke his commandments. Right. When you look at this sign, you can turn that sign around. No, that one right there. Yeah, that, that anyway, yeah, just turn it to the side a little bit. When you look at this sign, sister, step up a little bit. One, one, one nation of people is known for going into slavery after slavery after slavery. So called blacks. Now, is it a reason? So what? Is it a reason? Do you, do you think it's a reason behind that, or is it just a coincidence that we're just the weakest people? The reason behind that now the question is what is that reason read this Deuteronomy 20 to 15. it's the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. It but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god you ever heard of moses so moses was an israelite moses is talking to the rest of the israelites our ancestors he's telling them if you don't listen to god read on to observe to do all his commandments right. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if the so-called black and Hispanic man does not listen to God, the Lord is gonna send curses upon us. Now, have you ever heard the term generational curses? Yeah, you too, brother, you gotta listen to this. Have you ever heard the term of generational curses? And you, you said you have too, right, sis? So when you think about a generational curse, slavery, Jim Crow era, these different uh, time periods, what nation of people pops in your mind? Generational curses. 
I'm talking the people that's getting cursed. Us black people. Us black people. Right. And we just read in the Bible that the Lord has curses placed upon the people if they don't listen to God. Right. Read verse 46. Verse 46. Right. And they shall be upon thee right. for a sign and for a wonder right. and upon thy seed forever. These curses are going to be upon God's chosen people for a sign to know who they are. For a wonder and upon their seed forever. That's throughout each generation. So we just read in the Bible that certain curses are going to be upon the Israelites. Now to read these curses, since they're for a sign, is to see who they are in 2024, in the last days. Read verse 16. And I want y'all to tell me, what nation of people did this happen to? Verse 16. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Read it out. Cursed shall they be. Cursed shall thou be. In the city. So the Lord said the Israelites are going to be cursed in the cities. We look at the city of Chicago. Who's cursed? Us. You know? Cursed shall thou be in the field. How about you, brother? What nation of people was cursed in the slave fields? What nation of people were cursed in the slave fields? Us. So why are we reading this out the Bible? This is what Moses said years and years, over 4,000 years ago. But yet we see it playing out today. So it's kind of looking like the people and the ancestors that he's talking to is our ancestors, if you ask me so far. Right. Jump to verse 32. Verse 32. Right. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Another curse is that at one point in history, your sons, your daughters, is going to be snatched from you and given to another people. What that sound like? We look at these sounds. Look at this. Slavery, you got gator bait. All right, you got babies getting uh, snatched up. You got killings. Men kidnapping your kids. They selling them to ma uh, to uh, Master, so-called Johnson. Right. And the other one go to Master Williams. And you never see a baby again, even now. Right. right. DCFS, they come in your crib. You get one complaint. They come in, they taking up your kids. All right, you got there in the, uh, in the border. You got ICE. They taking the Hispanic. All, all those kids, they just taking them up. Using them for God knows what, sex traffic, slaves. So the Lord said, read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's your sons and your daughters. Out the Bible, being given unto another people. Right. Who's the other people? That's the so-called white man. The so-called white race and these other nations. Right. And who's the Lord talking to? The Israelites. And again, this is history that we can go on to and find these things. I mean, you learned about it in school. Read on. Verse 54. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. So another curse is that this nation of people is going to have an evil eye toward one another. What does it sound like to have an evil eye towards your brother? If my, if, imagine a whole nation of people. Their eyes just evil towards one another. You see them walking past you, you start, huh? I right, well, you'll be an Israelite, brother. All right, you'll be an Israelite. Grab a flight. We got a fly for you. So again, sister, that sounds like so-called black on black crime. Right. All right, you can like the sound out a little bit. All right, that sounds like black on black crime. All right, oppression. Imagine you walking past another sister. She start eyeing you. She looking. She looking at you up and down. Start envying you for no reason. That's what you call having your eye evil towards your brother. Right. What other nation of people acts like that? Is the Chinese woman, or hold on, is the white woman walking past each other, ready to get in a fight? It's us. The uh, the, a the Arabian woman, she's not doing that. Right. The so-called Chinese woman, she's not doing that. Right. That's the so-called black woman, an right. Hispanic woman. How you doing, sis? You a, you know that you're Israelite? You do know you're Israelite? Okay, I'll press to the most side. So we're going over the curses of the Israelites. We got another curse for you. All right, finish out on this. And towards the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. So the last curse that we're about to read is that a nation of people, their fathers, is going to be known for leaving the household. Cool. And who was that? 
so-called black man and a black woman. Namely, the so-called black man leaving his children, going for a store to grab the milk, never come back. All right, and again, the Lord said that these will happen to the Israelites. Right. Read 29 and 1. All right, last verse, 29 and 1. Chapter 29 and verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So the Lord said that these things will happen to the children of Israel. Right. Grab a flyer, sister, if you, uh, you know what, we got a flyer for you. All right. I'll pray to the most high. So we actually got a movie for the move up over there. If you want to come and listen to the word, you know, all praise to the most high. Nevertheless, you will be an Israelite according to the Bible. All right, say so Church. Everybody's history is run up in the Bible. The Chinese man history, the so-called black man. So uh, now the problem is when we read about the Bible, when we read the Bible, what do we read about the so-called African Americans? Blue light on. Like right here. Okay. Blue light. Well, hold on, well, hold on, hold on, sis. Right? Because it's uh, like the woman stay, stay, stay on the point. Okay. Now, we will be the Israelites, according to the Bible. According to history, prophecy, and archaeology, it all ties back into us being God's chosen people, the Jews. You ever heard about the black Jews, sister? And who are the black Jews? I came here. I ain't come from life. I said I came here from God, from from a God place, and I heard y'all talking about the Bible. That's from the lifestyle. That's right. And this is and this and this is Bible study. God has spared my life. Hold on, hold on, sister. You gotta remember. Yeah. Now remember, says before you leave, you have to know your race according to the Bible. Right. All right. Give me uh Esther. Right. This is Esther, verse number eight. Because everybody in the world knows their history, their nationality. You calling yourself African American? That's you calling yourself the name after two so-called white men. Yeah, you don't want to call yourself. Hey, well, guess what? We 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 learn about uh, this man of uh, America, Amerigo Vespucci. He was an Italian map maker during the I believe the uh, the early 1500s. Right. Right. The late 1400s. Read about uh, Africanos. He won. He he conquered uh, Punic. Uh, it's like he conquered um, Hannibal in the Punic Wars. All right, we go into history. Those are two different white men. And now you're calling yourself the name after two white men. After uh, Amerigo Vespucci, right? And uh, uh, how you say the, the other Edomite name? Um, yeah, yeah, Leo Skip Ill right. I ain't too old to learn. Give me right. I right, know. Give me this. right. I'm six. Give me right. It's the book of Esther, chapter 10, verse 8. Right. And the nations were those that were assembled to destroy the name of the Jews. Read that again. Yeah. Actually, to, jump to verse uh, my nation. Verse, con, verse 9. Verse 9. In my nation is this Israel. What the Lord say? Is my this is Israel. So, sister, the Lord said my nation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sister. You got to come back. You listening? Yeah, I see. You listening, sister? The Lord said, my nation is this Israel. So that would be a biblical nationality, an Israelite. You too, since you said you, you said you know. So y'all would be Israelites. Now, knowing that we Israelites, hold on, slide, 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 slide. So to know that we Israelites, or to now, now knowing that we're Israelites, is something that the Israelites have to do. What did the Israelites do? That got us in this predicament, in this situation, at the bottom of society. Okay. What do you think we did that got us at the bottom of society? Well, Daniel, we chapter 9, verse 11. Society. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure you would agree that we're kings, princesses, priests. But why are we at the bottom of society is the question. If we're God's chosen people, the best. 
because some of us chose the wrong way of life to go through. You know, chose the wrong. You know, you draw me some, of us, some of us are in the darkness. You know, why would you say we are? We're around the eleven and twenty-six. That's right. That's right. We said we chose the wrong way of life. Yeah. Now we now we have to find out what that wrong way we chose was. Because if I don't know the wrong way, I may keep walking in it thinking I'm walking on the right path. Right. Sir, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sister. Hold on, sister. It's the book of Daniel, chapter nine, verse eleven. Ye all Israel have transgressed thy law. What the Lord said, all Israel have transgressed thy law. The Lord said, all Israel. Who's Israel today? I just told you. Who's Israel? Who's the Israelites? Uh, Where are the Israelites? Right. The Jews. Jews. So I can't right. get it out. You got it, sister. You got I it. I can't get it out. <laughs> you got it. I ain't going to what I get. Well, I'm supposed to have. Okay. Right. So where are the Israelites? Where are the Jews? The Lord said, all Israel did what? Transgress thy law. We broke God's laws. Right. You ever heard about the Ten Commandments? Yes. Those are God's laws. Even outside of the Ten Commandments, it's even more. The Lord said, Every single one of us, we broke his laws. We know what? Even by departing, right? That they might not obey thy voice. That we may not obey his voice. That's what happened. We didn't obey his voice, and we wanted to do our own thing. Give me Deuteronomy yeah. 30 and 19. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. Bring right? it out. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, right? That I have set before you. Life and death. Right, like you said, we chose the wrong path. We chose death. The Lord said, I'm placing before you life and death. We don't blessing and cursing. Right, he said before us a blessing on the right hand side, on the left hand side, it was a curse. Now, seeing that we're at the bottom of society, which path do you think we chose? The blessing or the curse? I would say the curse chose the curse, that's right. We chose the curse. Just look at these and signs. I got, my, and I got my head down, you know, and I know God is probably the wrong way. I'm here to get it, Joe. That's right. I'm now, here to get it. Okay. Now, look at, now, now, look at this sign. This the curse that brought, that God has brought us to. Slavery, all right, slave ships, persecution, all because the Israelites, these people, the Israelites, broke God's laws. All right, give me Deuteronomy 11 and 6. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 11. And verse number six. Bring it out. And what? 26. Deuteronomy 11, 26. Bring it out. Right. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Same thing. Set before us a blessing and a curse. You know A blessing oh, if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. Read that again. A blessing if Amen. ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. The Lord says it's going to be a blessing. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, right? Do you think we do you think we kept the commandments and obeyed the commandments? Do you think we kept and obeyed the commandments and got blessed? No, no, we didn't keep it. That's why you got uh, so-called black men over here getting high, uh -huh. yeah. smoking uh -huh. weed. Yeah, you got women out here being dykes because yeah. we yeah. broke God's laws. Yeah. You got yeah. men killing each other, gang banging. Uh -huh. All that is against God's laws. Right. That's why the Lord said, All Israel have transgressed thy law, even by the party. Now, I'm for, now like we read, the Lord, we chose death. Now, how do we get life? Proverbs 7 and 2. The book of Proverbs chapter 7, Wait, verse real quick, 2. Real quick. How do we uh, choose life? What's, what's life? I just want to change yourself from where you at. And, and you know, God gives you. I'm putting me out there. Uh huh. God gave me a second chance. I always thought I was managing shit to control, but I wasn't. I kept running into big walls. You know, and I don't know if I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but I knew y'all were God is with me. You know, when I went to that, that place, you know how we always talk about, like you say, the, uh, the demons and stuff? Right. God was there with me as well. But I heard that demon like he was telling me, don't say nothing. Let go. Well, hold on. I, I remember since the Lord said choose life. Yeah. Now that's the, what, what I'm saying. Right. So what what action is the is life that we gotta choose? I want to make sure we stand right, on point. Choose, choose what God got to, choose the purpose of God got to. 
and we're going to see that purpose. Right. And we're going to read that purpose that God chose us for. Read this. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Right? Yeah. Keep my commandments and live. What's life? Keep my commandments and live. What's choosing life? Keep my commandments and live. You know what? In my law, as the apple of thine eye. So real life and actually living is keeping God's laws, his commandments. He said, keep my commandments and live, and thy law as the apple of his eye. So this book, you follow it, this book is actually how you live. Now, seeing that the laws is how we live, do you know any laws? Any commandments? No. Ever heard about the Ten Commandments? Okay, okay. What else? That's right. So we're gonna read you a few commandments. Okay. We'll read you a few commandments, but you gotta keep these commandments. So you can what? Study them and live by them. That's right, live. You gotta study them so you can live. Come to life. Read this. You on fire, sister. You really on fire. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 8. And the swan, because it divided the hoof. Yet you are not the cut. It is unclean unto you. So the Lord said the swine. You know what swine is? Swine. 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 No. Swine is the pig. Right. pig. Yeah, the pig, the pork. Okay. Yeah, you know about the pigs, the hogs, right? The uh, horse, the horse. All those are pigs. The Lord said, and the swine, read that last part again. Because it divided the hoof. Yet you have not the cud, right? It is unclean unto you, right? Ye shall not eat of their flesh. The Lord said, "The swine, you cannot eat it." Right? Oh. No pork, no pig. It's a sin to eat pork. Did you know that? Yes, I heard about that. You heard about that? Not being eat the pork. I'm gonna be honest with you. That I was still eating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Mean, I heard about it, but I was still eating. And, now, and then that was a lot of us. You know, okay. I, I remember my grandma used to tell me to send me pork, but I never heard it in the Bible. But now we're reading it in the Bible, and you're seeing that God commanded us not to eat it. Now you got to put it away. Right. So are you willing to put down the no, bacon? Absolutely. absolutely. Okay, I'll pray. What about the pepperoni piece? I don't eat that no more. Sausage piece? I don't eat that. Ham? I like ham. Oh, are, are you going to eat it, though? All praise to the most high. Uh, you gotta put it down forever. Not for a season. Can I say something? Can I say something? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm just before, but before you say I'm something, just sister. Y'all, okay. Before you say I'm something. I'm the truth. Remember. I don't want to lie. Remember, we sinned. This got us. This, this, yeah, okay. so you eating pork is the reason why this happened. Okay. Us eating pork is the reason why this happened. Right. So, knowing that, you're gonna continue to eat pork. How the blood of your ancestors. Let it go. Let, let it go. Gotta let, let it go. go. Don't they say that in the word? Gotta let God and let go. And you gotta let go of sin. That's right. That's right. And for this, you gotta give up all praise to the most high. Now it's more. You know what? Okay. Nor touch their dead carcass. Right. These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters. You know what? All that have fins and scales. All that have what? Fins oh, and scales. Read that again. Fins and scales shall you eat. So if it come out the waters, if you want to eat it, it got to have both fins and scales. That's right. Only fins and scales. Now what if it don't got fins and scales? Can you eat it? It's not. So what's some things that don't get fins and scales? What's some seafoods that our people love to eat? Okay. Tilapia. Okay, tilapia. You can eat that. That's right. You catfish. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Catfish. Oh, okay, oh, you don't yeah. got no fins. No, it, it got it got fins, but no, no scales. scales. Okay. It's a slimy. Whitey. Uh, that's right. You can, you can eat whitey. Whitey. Salmon. Eat, and salmon. What about shrimp? What about shrimp? Shrimp, right? Yeah. No, sister, well, I can't, no, can't, 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 no, no, no. no. See that? You gotta get rid of the shrimp. What about I crab? Can't, crab, can't. right? Crab, right? Okay, yeah. Crab, now, can, I can't eat shrimp, period. No more. Read that again. Okay. Actually, read verse uh, 10. All right. Verse 10, and whatsoever 
have not fins and scales. The shrimp have fins and scales? Yes or no? Or is it a shellfish? That's right, it's a shellfish. They don't got no fin, no uh, no no scales. So the Lord said if they don't got fins and scales, we don't ye may not eat. Ye may what? Ye may not eat. No, you can eat it. Ye may not eat. Read. It is unclean unto you. It's an unclean, filthy, nasty animal. That's right, it's going in your body again. Diabetes and arteries clogging up. You gotta get that needle and test your wow. blood pressure. All that because you eat the shrimp, the pork, the crab, the lobster, and that pork and all that food as well. Yeah, all yeah, all that's valid. And you have blood pressure and all that. So that shrimp, that crab, that lobster, that oyster, or whatever you come out, whatever you eat that come out the waters, if it don't get fins and scales, you can't eat it. So that means can you still eat shrimp? No, I won't. I won't. What about crab? I won't eat none of that because first of all, I, I love catfish. So I can just stay there. Well, hold on. Catfish don't got uh, catfish don't got scales. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen like the fish markets how they uh, let the catfish in that thing, right? Yeah. You see, they fill it. They don't flake yes. off the scales. They got scales, but they actually use a, like a little wrench. Oh, little wrench. Yeah, they do. I can't eat that. That's yeah, right. Do. No scales. Wow. Now that looks like it's real nasty. What you just said, but I just heard you read. I'm pretty sure you've seen. Yes, I have. Yeah. That's okay. right, and also there, there, uh, there, the so-called sea, uh, the sea. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Sea roaches. Right. right. All right. The catfish they eat all the the wickedness and the filth out of our uh, waters. That's why they always in the swamp area. Every time you see a catfish is in the damn swamp area. Why is it in swamp area? Why isn't it in clean waters? Because that catfish is made to clean up all that filth, all that nastiness that's in that nasty swamp. Eating up the alligator dome. Right. What's some other uh, swamp? Some swamp. Damn snakes, probably. Right. Right. All type of carcasses and diapers. Yeah. All type ah. of wickedness. So for that cause, sister, you don't want to eat no, the I shrimp. Don't. I don't. No pork. No I catfish. Don't. Right. I don't. So where y'all keep be located? We are normally at the bay. What's that? At the bay on uh, on uh, 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 Millennium Park. Up north. At Grand Park. Yeah, land off of Michigan. Okay, okay. Y'all have no flyers. Yo, yo, you got a flyer for you, sis. But before you get the flyer, okay, you don't want to get them yet. Before you get the flyer, okay, we got a quiz for you. Okay, a quick, quick quiz. Okay, pop okay. quiz. I can. Okay, I'm here. All right, when the last time you did a quiz? I haven't. You never did a quiz. No. You too, sister. You got to get quiz too. I see you talking to but you got to get quiz too. Before you leave. Before you leave. Before you leave. Before you leave. Before you leave, sister. I see you back. I see you back. Well, before y'all leave. All right, right there on my car. I'll come up. I don't know. Okay, I'll pray to the most high. Before y'all leave. That's right. I'll pray to the most high. All right. What will be a nationality according to the Bible? Y'all two sisters. What will be your race according to the Bible? What do we say? Israelite. Israelite. Right. What's your name? That's right. You're an Israelite. That's right. All right, all right, all right. Well, all right. Well, I got another one. 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 All right, all right. I want to learn. I don't know. All right, so according to the Bible, why did the Israelites get put into slavery? Mm. Why did the so Israelites like to choose a better way of living? No, that's no, why we all got put in the slavery. Go okay, back to Daniel, okay. chapter uh, nine, and verse eleven. Huh? Oh, riches. 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 Riches.